Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UI Path by Sujita. In this video we are going to uh, do a practice session to convert a document to a PDF and to convert a text file to a PDF. Many of you might be facing this uh, uh, issues while you try to convert any text files or documents to a PDF, right? If you are a beginner to UI Path Studio, this is the right video to start with your basic task okay so let's quickly move on to the task so for that what I created is I have created a sequence uh, convert to PDF and now um, I, I always suggest you to please do practice along with me so that you'll come to know the concept very well okay so go to your acti activities panel and search for word okay let's go to this and i could not see any word related or pdf related um, activities in my activities panel so what you do go to manage packages here click on this go to all packages type word okay uh, you you will be getting a list of packages out of those select the one which is uh, I mean which been published by UiPath that is uipath.word.activities package and select the latest version install save it will save the package to your project okay so now if you see in the activities panel you could see different activities which are related to word document okay now in order to do this so let us concentrate on the first part how to convert a word document to a pdf in order to convert a word document to a pdf we need a dummy word document right so let's create that go to your project i'm creating a dummy file document in my project itself data so I have created a document with some random data okay so I just uh, gave some interview call letter inside this so just saved it as interview call so now let's save this out and close it go to your activities panel now there is something called word application scope drag and drop this to your sequence what it will do this opens a word document and provides a scope for other word activities when this activity ends the document and the word application are closed if the specified file does not exist a new document file is created and this is included in uipath word dot activities package okay so you you can understand by this right so all the activities which are related to this word document will work only if you use it inside this word application scope when it moves when bot moves to the next activity out of this scope those activities the word related activities will not work okay got it right it is very similar to the to our uh, use application browser activity or to our excel application uh, scope right so let's move on okay so first of all we are concentrating to convert a word document to a pdf for that first of all we are supposed to give the document path right which word document you want to convert so it is in my project data folder this is my document so i'm giving this path i'm selecting this path and the path being automatically retrieved over here i hope you are doing this along with me now if you see in these uh, activities there is something called save document as pdf what it will do it will export a word document to pdf this is what we are looking for right and it is included in uipath.word.activities just drag and drop this to this word application scope now it is expecting us to provide the path where to save this pdf converted file let's give the path i'm i'm giving my project data folder as the path to save the pdf and a name 
interview call letter okay save it replace existing it's based on your requirement okay just save it out and run this file very simple right but but the only thing is you are supposed to understand the usage and you are supposed to understand the package which to use now let us see how it worked go to our project folder because that's what uh, the path we defined right go to data and here there cc uh, pdf file being generated this is what we are expecting we want bot to convert this document into a pdf it won't be this straight right like in your uh, automated process maybe you are supposed to read this document maybe you are supposed to change some wordings in the document or maybe you will be appending something right in the document later at last you will be converting your document to the pdf so based on this you can modify your uh, uh, automation okay now let us delete this let us concentrate let us come to the next part how to convert text to file to a pdf word document to a pdf is very straightforward right if you know the activities and how to use those activities it's pretty uh, easy easy process right but whereas text file to pdf is a bit complex compared to this first part now let us go to the folder and let us have one dummy text file so i am creating a text file with say interview details okay in that what i am going to do is i am getting this part some piece of data into those i mean in, into this text file okay let us save this out okay now i am supposed to convert this to a pdf okay now let us see how to convert this first of all i am supposed to read my text file right so let us use read text okay read text file use this and give your path give the path of your text file it is inside the data folder this is my text file save it yeah now it is reading the data but where to save go to properties panel select this activity so that you will view the properties of this particular activity go to output use control k to create the out variable so there are different ways to create a variable if you are not familiar with that please go through our videos to learn okay so i used control k creating a string variable okay to save the data right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to append this data into the document because i have this first part in the document right where is my document yeah i have the first part in this document whereas i would like to append the text data here and then convert back to pdf okay so let me do that for that i'm going to append you know the meaning of appending right so appending text just drag and drop this inside this scope okay now give the path of the document in which the append should work i am selecting this document and then 
what text to be appended the text which we read from this text file that is str interview details so give that variable here str interview details save it now after appending i'm converting i'm saving it into a pdf let us see how this works okay i hope you are doing this along with me let me run this yes the process cannot access because it is used by another process okay let me close it out so i have closed all the uh, files and documents which were opened okay but still we are receiving this exception let me let me run this again and show you the exception okay see uh, append text and append text activity it says this particular uh, document the interview call dot document the word document been used by another process right but i have not opened it or i am not running any other uh, uh, process behind this but how can it it says that it is used by another process we may go mad and we will say like studio is not working fine for this no system will give the proper exception message okay so we we should dig and to understand the exact root cause for this okay i'll i'll tell you what happened here is i'm using this interview call document here in application scope right that means this document started i mean the word application scope activity started using this resource right whereas i asked append text activity also to use the same 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 document that means the resource which is already in used it is trying to append text activity is trying to access the resource that means the document which is already used by word application scope now let us drag and drop this outside of this word application scope let us see this how it works so this is a very common mistake which we do while we automate these kind of process fine execution ended right so let's see let's go to our data folder and let's see see the pdf file been generated just now okay now let us just try to open this file and see the content inside this fine got it so let us see what is the data inside so it has appended the data here as a new line then with the data here in the text file now let me write remove this extra data and then let us give a try for the proper output because we executed twice yeah let me save this out last run last try i'll do this for you i hope you got this task and you are doing this along with me let us see <clears throat> how it works now yes it has created the pdf file let us go back to this pdf file and let's open this out fine perfect right so this is the way how to generate a pdf document using a word document and how to convert a text file to a pdf file i hope you got the clear information on the usage of these activities and the process to convert these files to pdf so thank you so much for your support so far to this video uh, videos and to to our channel meet you through our next videos until then happy learning happy automating bye bye